Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I apologize for not being active for some time. But we're back and today we'll be learning how to create simple motion effect in Photoshop. Now in this motion effect, we're going to learn how to do it in two ways. Either in the video format or in the GIF format. Let's go. Okay, let's dive into today's tutorial. Um, so right now I want to show you just the basics of how to create a motion effect to your flyer, maybe on any platform, social media platform. Now we have the interface of Photoshop and now you can see that I created everything in groups, which means this is how I want it to be. And um, I want it to start from maybe at the bottom to the top, from the bottom here to the top. Okay, so um, first of all, um, we have to create um, our timeline, which is we go to window and then we go to timeline. This is the timeline. Now in the timeline, you, you can see all the different groups placed, groups and layers placed here. And what we want to do is that we want to create a scene where everything appears one after the other. So right now we will go and use this. Now you can see that there's a drop down here. Each of the groups and layers, they have a drop down at the end towards your left. You can see it here. If you click on it, you notice that you see opacity and in each of this layer, you see that they are different. You have the position and also you have the opacity, you have the style, you have the vector mass possible and we have the vector mass enable. Now each of these different effect has their own part to play in creating emotion. Now for this one, we are going to deal with only opacity, but also you can play with position and opacity and style. It depends on you what you want to do. It's if you look at it, it's almost similar to After Effects. Yeah, but this is just for Photoshop. So let's go. Now we are going to make, since the, it's um, the two lights on top are in group, um, I'm going to deal with only the opacity of the light. So I will make it appear at 10 frames after one second. So I put this here and I put the opacity on zero. Yeah. I put the opacity on zero here and the opacity on hundred here. So it will appear at 20 frames after two seconds. Okay. Okay. Then we go to the next one, which is the green area. Now the green, uh, this, leaves that are around the design and if you notice i added a glow effect to it that makes it pop out okay so i want the green to appear at um you know what let's go to the bottom and start from the bottom first yeah that would be nice since i want everything to come out from the bottom okay so um the background effect i want the opacity to start at, um, yeah, I want it to be the first thing to show. So I want it to be zero here. And then, um, let's delete this. This one should be at 100. Yeah. And this should be at zero. Now notice it is where this, how would I call it, your time code um, line is. That is where the effects, that's where the effects pop out. So you should mind it. It is where this your line is, this thing that is moving. I really don't know what to call it, but it's uh, for me it's just a timeline marker. Yeah, you can call it a marker, timeline marker. So you have to be, you have to be what. Uh, Okay, so the timeline marker has to be where you want the effect to pop out. Okay, ah, that's straightforward. Okay, so you see that it has a transition. You can see that, right? 
from zero it comes up to 100 okay so the 100 i want it to be at one second okay cool and there we have the background now let's go to the background effect now for the background effect i want the background effect now for the background effect you know this is the background effect which is those things that comes out and um the background effect i want it to be from 10 frames no let's make it 10.5 frames okay um 10 frames frames should be at zero and then maybe i want it to be after 10 point yeah 10.5 frames i want to be at 100 cool and then i want to dive into each of the background frames and uh yeah we have transform opacity style no let's just leave it like that let's just go plain for now yeah okay so we have the background effect and we can see that you see how the thing is going it goes from here now okay so we'll go for the happy birthday because that's what i want to pop out first and let's see the happy birthday at 20 frames i want the opacity at 20 frames to be at zero and then i want it to be at the next 20 frames at 100. okay and you notice this this is where the effect comes from after coming from here which is at this place after clicking on it then i use the key the timeline marker to create keyframes for it keyframes is what we call it in adobe after effects yeah keyframes and after that i use this for setting up the opacity either low at zero or 100. okay we're done with the happy birthday and then we go into the next one which is yeah was okay yeah i remember i didn't use this group filled with textures yeah okay so we'll go for the date or should we do the date first now nah, let's go with the name the name and the wishes so we mark where we ended which is at one maybe we can do this one at um 10 10.5 frames after two and let's put this drop down down pasty let's put your pasty at zero here and then at 10.5 minutes after two, it comes up at zero. We are getting it. And let's go back to the date. Ah, yeah, the date. Okay, the date. I want it to pop out first at. Uh, yeah, 20 frames here. And the opacity should be zero and then this come out at not too far yeah here at uh let's see 100 cool we're almost done you can see it comes up like this yeah cool 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 okay let's go into the next one which is our leaf on top yeah that leaf okay so for the leaf um let's see from here we're going to add hmm. i think there is something we didn't add effect to yeah his photo we didn't add effect to his photo my bad okay so we add effect to his photo we come here and maybe i want him to appear here so we go to opacity this to zero then we come here after the number let's say three and then we increase the opacity to a hundred cool so we have this background happy birthday name picture date cool and let's close this 
close this let's go into this leaf i believe we have not done anything here and then we come into where we stopped at the leaf it is to zero and then we move this a little bit oh i didn't click on the effect opacity yeah zero and um then let this be here comes up but the uh, hundred okay we are almost done let's put back this green leaf okay so the green leaf i want it to appear sorry for this i want the green leaf to appear after after the photo appears so i want it to be here okay so drop down opacity zero and then we bring it at maybe close to four and yeah and then for the last one we have lighting which we will add as the last we add opacity no first of all drop down opacity zero and a little further ah, red. okay so in our timeline you can see how it flows now watch this simple so this is how I normally do some motion graphic on my design after I finish designing. Okay, so let's see how we can render this into a video. Then we click on this option tab here. Then you go to render video. Render video. Now I'm going to teach you two ways on how to export this. You can either export it into a video or a GIF. So you can see our video exporting. It's in this. Okay, render video. This is where we set everything we want it to be. You set the name, video practice, and then you select the folder you want it to go to. Let's just say I want it to be on my desktop. Okay, desktop. Maybe my original UI. Yeah, folder. And then. Adobe Media Encoder, Photoshop sequence, they are different. You can use any of these to, to export your video. Either you want it in an image sequence or Media Encoder, but I prefer Media Encoder. And then you can see this is this format of exporting video is kind of the best, even in Premiere Pro, H.264. High quality, document size 180 by 180. You can see that it recognizes the document size. There are some designs that you do afterwards for if you want to do it in a video form. Um, it doesn't recognize the size, which means you can input it after you're done with your design. You can use here in case you want to do it in a video form, you can use it to put in your design. Okay, so field order. Now, this is something that you should take very carefully. When doing this, you should notice that this is upper first, which means it to start from the top. So we have to change this to lower first, okay? Because we started the effects from the bottom to the top. And all frames, we don't want to start from 0 to 149. All frames, better that way. And we render our video. Wait for it to export. And voila now let's look for a video we just exported remember we saved it in desktop my original ui and video practice let's see how it looks like wow now this is the video we just exported okay so the second way we're going to do the motion is in the gif form which is the gif form now when we do that we want to export it as a gif 
you come here into file you go to export and then we go to export as or save do you know which one yeah it is save for web legacy when you save for web legacy you come here and you change it into gif okay you change it from image which is jpeg into gif now we have to wait for it to you know assess the whole thing you know photoshop is a big big software voila okay so um selective color everything is acting fine let's see how it wow you see you can see the preview here wow it goes from now you notice that it recognizes how the procedure we use for exporting the video it recognizes that effect and added it here which means it started from the bottom to the top you see now this is cool so we export as a gif you save and then let's choose here and video ah mine was spelling practice and this is it we'll wait for it to export okay now we open the file yeah we use photos to open it and this is what we get you see with this we have learned how to create a gif file and how to create a video motion presentation in photoshop now i believe this will help you in many ways maybe in presenting your files to maybe a client and also maybe posting your videos or your gifs on social media thank you for sticking to the end of this tutorial stay blessed and please don't forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell to keep notified of any time i post a video peace out